Okay, these are pictures of the Earth. Okay, this one, 22,000 miles away from the Earth. Okay, this one, 28,000 miles away from the Earth, same size. This one, 443 uh, miles from the Earth, same size. This one is 930,000 miles away, and again, it's the same size. And you notice, though, that the Earth is perfectly round, okay? It's a perfect sphere. You see, these are the photos that NASA released, okay? You heard the Neil deGrasse Tyson. So, Earth, throughout its life, even when it formed, it was spinning, and it got a little wider at the equator than it does at the poles. So it's not actually a sphere. It's an it's oblate. And officially it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby is a good word. It's like pear-shaped. Yeah. So it turns out the pear-shapedness is bigger than the height of Mount Everest above sea level. Okay. So what, what we're told is that the air is pear-shaped. Yeah, the pictures that were shown of it are perfectly round. These are pictures, one here, okay, look at the size of this area of land here, okay, in 2007, somehow over five years, it's grown to this size, okay, we've got that picture from 2012, and then in the space of a year, uh, North America has shrunk quite significantly, it's a joke, isn't it? 